Welcome back to Best of Wisconsin Homes on our Community Spotlight Series. I'm Josh with Josh Lavick and Associates, and we're here today with Tanner in the village of Oregon. So uh, thanks for joining us on the of show course, today. Of course, it's great to be here. Glad you could come see our downtown. Yeah, no, actually, a really nice place to be. Uh, yeah, tell, tell our viewers a little bit maybe about Oregon and what makes it unique. Sure, so Oregon is a village. It's about 10 miles south of Madison. Um, we, uh, what makes Oregon truly unique um, is not only we have this really nice downtown, it was mostly built in the 1880s plus uh, through very uh, purposeful planning. We've managed to keep it and expand on it to make it a really uh, unique place. Uh, this actually right here is the world's first, not the world's first, the nation's first World War I monument uh, that uh, popped up uh, in the wake of World War I in America. Uh, another thing uh, that Oregon has is just a very vibrant sense of community um, where people not only like grow up here, but they also move back here uh, and try to find uh, positions in the area. I was just actually talking to the village. They were uh, just hiring uh, for a village position and they had like eight or nine qualified applicants right from the village wanting to work here and continue uh, living here. Mm -hmm. um, and then another very unique thing about Oregon is that it has just very good schools. Um, Oregon's uh, high school is actually in the top 7% in the state wow, that's and pretty the top 9% in the country. Okay. So yeah, it's a, it's a very good place to live. It's a very good place to work and it's a very good place to get your education. So. Yeah. But interesting you mentioned that because I was actually an Oregon grad uh, back in uh, back in 97. Oh, so. Great, go Panthers! I know, right? Go <laughs> Panthers! So kind of interesting to, to come back here a little bit and be in a place to uh, talk with you more about this. But uh, I guess tell maybe some of our viewers, what do you think some of the people, if, you know, when they do come back or what are they, what's there to do for fun around here? Sure. So uh, one thing Oregon has a lot of is parks. Uh, we have just uh, I mean, we're in a park, there's a park across the street, then there's four more in the immediate uh, quarter mile. Uh, the, all, the Anderson Farm County Park is just south of town. There's also, um, a few years ago, they finished creating the Rotary Trail, which is this really nice uh, bike and walkway on the north end of town that stretches for a few miles, uh, goes through some really pretty farmland and, and uh, along the creek bed, it's really nice. Um, in addition, we have a very vibrant community scene. Um, our senior center is one of the most active in the area. Um, with, they're doing something pretty much every week. Uh, we also, uh, as the chamber, we do a lot of uh, community events. Uh, just for example, there's a fall business expo coming up on October 13th uh, from four to seven, if you're interested in coming, uh, uh, where we highlight some of the, some local products and local businesses uh, to show our, uh, show our support to them, as well as like uh, use that as a way to build community. Uh, every summer in the last week of June, we do a summer fest, which is a very big, usually four day event. Uh, we're still working it out right now, but yeah. uh, where- It's always uh, a good summer festival, I think. Exactly, I've, I've yeah, and it's before. been going on for over 50 years. Yeah. So we, like, we, we have a, a pretty good system here and it's, a, it's real fun for the whole family. Um, in addition to like some of those community events, we also have a lot of um, activities, uh, a lot of community sports, and a lot of uh, just just a very a very vibrant community scene. Yeah, for sure. Not to mention, we're still pretty close to Madison. Yeah, because it's I mean, the Highway 14 kind of yeah. takes you right to Madison. I live in Madison. It only takes me about 16 minutes to get here. About 16 mm -hmm. minutes. So you know. It's, really not that far from Madison mm -hmm. at all. Absolutely. Is that, I mean, what do you think are some of the other reasons, you know, if you were to tell somebody who is maybe looking to move here or possibly relocate here, what else, uh, what else would they want to know? Uh, I know some people like from the West Coast or maybe from the state of Oregon, but you pronounced <laughs> it Oregon, right? Yes. In fact, I just moved here from the state of Oregon. Oh. Uh, fun fact, the village of Oregon got its name to convince people going to the Oregon Trail to come up here instead. Ah. So um, it's not a coincidence. Uh, <laughs> uh, among, there's a lot of vibrant history here for that. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry, what was your question again? No, that's okay. Just, uh, I guess, anything else that you might share with uh, any of our viewers that, sure. uh, that, you know, something that's other unique or other things that so, are last, last minute? Uh, yeah, so the, the, two, the two main uh, points I would emphasize 
is um, that our businesses and our community are both really exceptional here. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess an example of the business, we are actually moving from that building right there across town with the village uh, and we are uh, hiring pretty much all local contractors like, uh, yeah. We're hiring all local contractors in the area because like not only are they like affordable and they also just yeah. do such excellent work. Uh, and then of course we have like amazing coffee and pastries downtown, yeah. uh, some great restaurants all around. Uh, most importantly, I think our community mm -hmm. um, is really vibrant. Again, I was talking a little bit about that earlier, but it's just, I mean, I'm from the West Coast. I have never seen this level of commitment to the like community before. Sure. How people are just so willing to go above and beyond for where they live. And the cherry on top here is that we actually have a really nice property tax system. Like uh, our property taxes are 20% less than Madison's. So okay. on the whole. Compelling. So the cherry on top is that it's even, it's also still affordable. All so, right. Well, Tanner, I really appreciate you sharing uh, more with our viewers today. And uh, again, this is Josh with Josh Lavik and Associates here with Tanner in the village of Oregon. Mm -hmm.